This episode of the Games Rule Podcast was recorded before the Bioshock Infinite delay and the announcement of Dead Space 3. And welcome to Games for All Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron, here with the rest of the UGN crew. To my right here I have... Josh. And then to his right... Van. And with us, we have our special guests, special important guests, the regular hosts of your show... Gary Young, James Craigie, and Michelle Berry. Hello. She's the one in the middle. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a need for that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, hello. Hey. How's it going? Thanks for having us on our show. On your show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the hundredth episode, the final episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's all gonna come to this. Yeah. So, uh, kind of, yeah. It might get emotional, there might be some tears. It or could be, yeah. I mean, uh, James has got some Kleenex next to so I'm not really sure the reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's for later. It could be if you... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> or if I get bored. Yeah. You guys have a, you have a guy reading comics, James just whacks off in the corner in time to give him boredom, sets in. <laughs> Who's that guy? It's like yeah. when they pan out in the portos, there's that one guy that's just over there. Okay, never. Fixing <laughs> the copier. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we took it there. But, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, since, since this is uh, this started out as a game show, and yeah. most people who listen to your show probably listen to it for two reasons: one, because Dan's a sexy beast, and two, because it's about you games. So let's go ahead and kick it off with our first segment: <laughs> what games are we playing? So Dan, we'll start with you. Okay. Well, uh, lately um, I've been playing Prototype Two. Um, pretty big fan of the first one, other than. Um, you know, it had its few issues. It wasn't like the perfect game, but it was one of those games where you can kind of see the potential of it. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun as well. It's just, you know like an open world game. You got powers and stuff, and um, you know it. It, they were, it left a lot to kind of be desired, but it was still quite satisfying. Uh, this one, they've fixed a lot of the graphical stuff. Um, they've made leveling up a hell of a lot more fun. I mean, you've been playing a bit as well, James. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, I'm probably about halfway through. I kind of hope I could get it finished, but um, yeah, no, it's it's a lot of fun. It's um, it's it's one of those things. Like, I mean, graphics in an open world game is a bit of a tricky area because obviously we commend games like uh, I guess like Skyrim and Red yeah. Dead Redemption and that they're not the best graphic graphically looking games. But when you consider the open worldness of it, how big the kind of vastness, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, they're actually pretty good looking games for what they are. Um, and yeah, this is this isn't bad looking really for what it is. It's no. definitely a big improvement over the first one. Um, so yeah, I've been playing a fair bit of that. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I say they, they they fixed a lot of the graphical things, <coughs> even though that's not really that important. The gameplay is more important, but that, that they've tweaked that so it's more fun. Um, yeah, like I say, leveling up's a lot of fun, gaining new powers and stuff, and trying them out. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of fun. So been playing that. Been playing a little bit of um, the uh, iPad version of Max Payne. <laughs> Because uh, I figured I'd try that out, and um, that's awesome. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, it, I mean, because the, they brought out GTA Three, and it was like everyone bought it and stuff. Apparently, I actually did buy it, and um, everyone said it was such a great port and everything. Uh, I thought it was average, but it was, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and um, they decided to do it with Max Payne because obviously Max Payne Three comes out in like a few weeks' time now. Yeah. So um, they they decided to bring out the first one on uh, iPhone and iPad, and it's alright. I mean, it is it's. It kind of suffers from some of the same issues as GTA 3, that the controls are fucking awful. But um, <laughs> other than that, it's still it's still fun because it's a game that I've played on Xbox and I think I even played it on Mac at some point. And um, it's still a lot of fun to play. It, it, you know, you, you just kind of kind of have to relearn how to freaking control it. But no, it's all right. It looks exactly the same as it did. It, it's not like they've not done anything amazing with it. It is just a very basic port, but um, I just downloaded the free version. On did you PS3? Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's you know, it is what it is, and it's still a fun game. So yeah, yeah. you could definitely kill some time at the doctor's office with that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. So that's pretty much me. What I've been playing. So who's next? Uh, All right, no. You been playing? Sorry, we've been playing Walking Dead, the yes. game. Yeah. Episode one. Episode one. It's an interesting thing. I wanted it on the Mac though. But, you know, yeah, but yeah. I'm paying for it, so I bought it on the PlayStation. So yes. um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of like point-and-click adventure games and Telltale games and stuff. 
Dan sawing away. No, I mean I actually do. I actually have this, but I've not really played it. No. My fiance. It's has. good. It, it, it's done something. Else. I mean, we're fans of the Walking Dead TV series and zombies in general, and this does like a. It's a really good sort of zombie game. No, it's not. It's not based off. It's not based. Yeah, it's not based off the TV. It's canon to the comics, not the TV series. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of um, parallel. It, it's certain events and characters from the comics are there, but it's, it all sort of starts off while Rick's still in the coma. So it's parallel to the story, but not based yeah. on the story. And I was pretty much a wuss when I first got it, so I handed it over to you. Yeah, first encounter with a zombie. She was like, take the control. Oh, I'm sorry, but when keys land in front of a so-called dead zombie's mouth, you're not going to put your hand in front of it. He didn't attack you. Well, not then, anyway. <laughs> Everybody knows you use your penis instead. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sorry. Uh, so, it's actually in episodes, and it's relatively cheap per episode, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget how much oh, it is. I, I bought the... Um, it's, it's who did this? Who's Telltale? Telltale? They have good games. I played the Back to the Future not too long. Oh, yeah, I've got the Back to the Future ones. They're wicked. <laughs> but this is different. It's, this is kind of less kind of contrived puzzles and more kind of practical... Oh. Survival making puzzles. choices of making choices and, and who are you gonna say yeah there, there there is this whole big choice system it's almost sort of bioware in its kind of vastness and scope in that what you say to certain people affects how they react to you later and decisions on who you save yeah yeah changes things <clears throat> and like so this is episodic and this is only the first episode so we have no idea what effect these decisions will have on later episodes so that's something I'm looking forward to seeing play out some more yeah I haven't actually finished it yet I just finished it for you <laughs> no you did a few bits for me because I didn't want to do it but yeah it was good so yeah that's, that's pretty much what we've been playing yeah that's I've, it for me I've been playing some of the Witcher 2 on Xbox as well I noticed that yeah yeah uh, <laughs> um Again, that's good. It's one of these games you need to... It's not actually that long if you just do the one playthrough. But it's got the whole big choice thing, whereas the game completely changes depending on who you side with. And the whole second act of it, you can be on like two completely different sides of a war. And you kind of get the feeling that there's a lot happening behind the scenes when you just do one playthrough. There's a lot happening there that you don't see and then when you play the other side you see what was happening there so you don't get the full the full story unless you play both sides so for like 30 40 hour game that adds up to 60 to 80 hours so it's a long ass game well, would you go as far to say as it's your favorite rpg on the xbox 360 yeah yeah okay <laughs> yeah. pretty good it, it's it's really well done it doesn't um, talk down to you it treats you like an adult, like a grown-up, like an intelligent person, and doesn't hold your hand through it. it. It's quite brutal. I mean, it comes with something new for the Xbox version, and they've just added to the PC version. It's like a tutorial section, because the original game had no tutorial at all. You were literally just thrown in at the deep end. And at the end of the tutorial, it sort of judges what difficulty you should have it on. And I played through it, and I thought, played it on normal. And I thought, okay, I've heard this is a pretty hard game, so if it's saying normal, that's fine. About ten minutes into playing it on normal, I was getting my ass handed to me, so I had to switch it down to easy. <laughs> but, and even then, I got my ass handed to me a couple of times. But no, it is good. It is challenging, and it's a lot of fun. And it's kind of like watching a TV series. I mean, it's all set into like acts and chapters and everything, and you really do feel involved. But because it's a sequel and you've not played the original, and it's based off this whole series of Polish novels that only some of them have been translated. There's this whole kind of backstory and lore behind it, and you start playing it, and you feel like you're kind of jumping in at the beginning of the second season of something, so there's a lot of reading up and what the hell is going on, but as soon as you get over it... So you kind of need to have some familiarity with the first one. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does a pretty good job of explaining things in like the in-game journal and all that, and there is a lot of reading to do, but it's just so engaging that after about an hour or two, you kind of get pulled into it and you know what's going on, you can get the gist of it, and yeah, you know, it's, it's awesome, <laughs> I love it. 
you actually sent me a wiki, which I bookmarked, which I uh, noted to myself that I'll go back and devote some time to reading it later. That's how that's how in depth like the background is. Yeah, on yeah, it has this whole wiki, and it's not a small wiki. There's a lot of stuff there. It covers like <laughs> six novels and two yeah. games, and yeah. When I have time to go to another world, I'll visit it. <laughs> but well, uh, I think that's pretty much all we've been playing. All right, then I'll kick it off on our side. Okay. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Skylanders, which is kind of an older game now. <laughs> but and he laughs as I say Skylanders because it's kind of a kid game, but it's fun as hell. So um, I've been playing after the Xbox 360 and the uh, Nintendo 3DS, which they're kind of two completely different games. The 3DS game is more of a platformer and it's got action in it, and the 360 version is more of an adventure action game. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then um, basically. Uh, pretty much your characters transfer over from each version to the other versions. Ah, and they, cool. Yeah, they keep the same stats because your your figures, your action figures, which are physical form, which you buy at the store, I'm sure you may have seen them at some point, um, you put them on this little device and it saves all the information from every single version to all the different versions. So I'm having a lot of fun with that and I'm collecting them because that's kind of my hobby now. Nice. And I'm one away from a complete collection of characters. Nice. Awesome. I was thinking that's something you'd be into if you had the money. Yeah, but I'll have to like put up another shelf and. <laughs> if we get permission. You're not very good at DIY, so. No, yeah. no, so that's kind of. Oh, I've got the space to do it. So it's, uh, it takes a lot of your time not just playing the games, but hunting the figures as well. Because you're going store to store. It's spending money in gas, too, mind you, so it's more money. More money. Yeah. Down there. <laughs> that, that is good exercise as well. You could chalk you could <laughs> it up to a fitness game, walking yeah. around the stores. Got everything. <laughs> I would play uh, Fruit Ninja on the Kindle Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fruit Ninja's awesome. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. No, I got I got Kindle Fire, and so I've been playing fucking Fruit Ninja. So I'm horrible at it. It's actually really hard. Yeah, you just slide your finger out and like slice the fruit. It's a lot harder than it sounds, though. Have, you, have, have you tried the Connect version of that? Have you, have you guys tried the Connect version at all? Connect, no. no. Fuck um, that. You fucking yeah. sweat. So you've used it maybe <laughs> twice. Yeah, yeah. Connect. Connect yeah. is a workout. If you do it on Connect, like yeah, big time. time. It's not like the way where you sit down just doing that. <laughs> fucking the Connect it's version ends with fucking sorry. arms like that. Yeah, that's James. That's <laughs> James playing the week. <laughs> Uh, Sitting down with a burger. That's me not playing the Wii. That's, that's me every hour, every day when we're not recording. Can I slap him? Don't ask my permission. Go ahead. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, good times. Uh, I've been playing Fryer on the iPhone 4. Fryer on the iPhone? Fragger. Fragger. Fragger? Fragger. And what is that? What the fuck's that? Oh, uh, well, there's different kind of levels. Like, there's, like, a monster level where it's, like, you're trying to blow up Frankenstein, and there's, like, normal levels where you're trying to blow up, like, burglars and ski masks. But basically, you get, like, like <laughs> ten grenades a level, and you have to, like, ricochet them off the wall and get them, like, land on a sh- another cliff where, like, there's a guy standing and you have to blow them up. And we are down there, it's puzzle but basically like figure out how to get him like the grenades like fall the right way to land by the guy you want to blow up my and, question to you is this one of the first games you downloaded for iPhone 4 when mm-hmm. you got your iPhone okay because you just recently got an iPhone 4 right or you had it for a while like back in September okay but or just later maybe July it's been cool. about a year probably but, yeah no, when I got the iPhone I was like yeah angry birds but <laughs> <laughs> they got think- shit in space now what the fuck yeah, they're in space. Yeah. Other than that, I'm kind of playing uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, trying to beat that still. Because of the... Yeah, we won't talk too much about it, but what came out? Avengers. Did you finally watch, which is... <laughs> okay. Now free control. But this is a game podcast. Yeah. So. Yeah. Then you have uh, Ultimate Alliance 2. You did have it, didn't you? I did have it, yeah. Oh. I've, it is somewhere. Oh, okay. I, I, I do need to play it. Must, it, must be good. It, it, it's in my um, pile of shame. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's, 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 that's my only anecdote for it. <laughs> I think I've beaten it twice now. Two or three times. Two times with somebody else. Cool. So, like, playing cooperatively. So, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's worth it. Well, my problem is I'll be playing it, and then, like, something will happen. Like, because it's based off of Civil War. 
But Gone Hand was awesome. So I'll, get, I'll go and read the comic and then forget about it for like three months because I've been just reading comics. That's why it's taken me like three years to play it. Because I keep getting sidetracked by reading the actual comics. It's very tough. Well, there you go. Does anybody else have anything that they've been playing? Uh, throw in here? Oh, I guess uh, I'm going to add one then before we go to break here real quick. Um, the uh, the new Connect Skyrim DLC, or not the DLC, but the patch came out with the with the whole Connect Skyrim, and I've been popping that in and trying it out. It changes the game, and it's give fun. Five, give me five. Give me five. Yeah. It's, it changes the game. It makes it, uh, it adds a whole new aspect to it. Um, shouting at your TV has never been as much fun. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> nice. I need to connect. Cause yeah, you should nice. just bring your copy of Skyrim around and test it out. Okay. No, we'll film it. That'd be funny. Well, you can bring your connect over here. No, it's no. too much effort. <laughs> I think that is good connect implementation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, even I can kind of get behind that. I mean, it's not like... You know, I mean, it's not really exactly what the Kinect was intended for, but a lot of games are using this side of it, the audio side of it, and that's... The device is so good at that stuff that, you know, even if people just use it for this from now on, people will still use it, you know? So, that's fucking cool. I don't think sorting your inventory, your inventory has ever been any easier. It's, it's, it's awesome. Just sort by weight. Just saying, sort by weight, and then everything going in the that order. That's fucking cool. It's yeah. like... It's the it's the best thing. I it's think I happen, think I think, I think it's, it's quickly becoming clear that the Connect uh, is to augment gameplay and not yeah yeah replace gameplay. You know, you still want your controller. You still want to play it the old school yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. These extra features that enable and really kind of enhance the experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, maybe Connect two point will take away the whole camera thing altogether, and it would just be a voice sensor. I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt anything. I mean. No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, anyway, that's that. All right, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break, and we'll come back with our segment two, which is going to be uh, slightly different from the normal format. We're going to do kind of a question and answers type segment with you guys, uh, some questions from your fans, and get to know a little bit about you behind the scenes, the show, it's up and coming, and everything like that. So let's yeah. go ahead and make a scary show. Yeah. And welcome back from the break. This is segment two where we're going to talk about some uh, some questions and answers. And we're just kind of got to, you know, you have some fans, you have some listeners, since you in some questions here, and uh, they want to know some things. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, how did you guys get started? Well, I mean, if you want to go way back, I mean, uh, you and me met at school. Yeah, uh, I, I worked out to about uh, 17 years ago. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel really old. Um, yeah, no, we met at school and we kind of had similar interests. We liked video games and uh, I think at the time I was kind of into some anime and stuff and yeah. you, you, you're into that kind of stuff. And so, um, yeah, no, that's kind of how we met. And then I think, like, uh, I went off to college. I did some uh, media production and... Um, popular music courses and stuff like that so I've got, I've got a background in video and audio and stuff like that um, and then kind of around 2005 I started doing some um, shows in my bedroom uh, podcasting and that and uh, kind of uh, yeah because at the time I was probably about 20, 21 and I was still with my parents yeah, you know. Um, so like uh, it seemed like a cool new medium to get into and um, started doing a show with a friend of mine called Simon where um, we play like uh, unsigned bands, local bands and stuff on a sh- on a, like a almost like a radio type show, um, and that was fun. Um, I did a few podcasts for like bands and stuff that I was in, bands that I knew and things. And then I think in like 2008, I kind of spoke to you and said that uh, I had an idea that we we should do a video games podcast. Yeah. And you were like, nah. <laughs> You didn't really want to do it because you like, you, oh, no. I don't sound good and uh, no, that kind of pissy ass shit. Uh, and like, yeah, no, so he wasn't really up for it to begin with, but I was kind of talking around. He's like, because at the end of the day, we talk about video games pretty much. Quite all, sort of deep, deep cerebral yeah, discussion. No, like most of the time we talk about video games and like we kind of figured, well, we could record this and it would be a show. So yeah. like um, we did kind of, we recorded like five shows in 2008 between... September and December, but none of that ever made it online because um, we we were ch- too cheap to fucking buy web space. Uh, <laughs> and somebody else said, "Oh, I've got those web space. You can you can you can post your podcast over there." Yeah, fine. Yeah, that never happened. So uh, we kind of gave up doing it in the end. And then it wasn't until 2010 
nearly two years ago um, that we decided we'd actually do it and would do it properly and kind of yeah. fucking make a go of it sort of thing. But um, I still remember like 2008, we were talking about games like Fallout 3 and yeah. Dead Space and the Little Spawn. Big Planet Beta and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. Spore and shit like that. And it's kind of like, it's funny because I don't have those recordings. I wish I'd kept them, but um, the show pretty much hasn't changed. No. It was still the kind of what we've been playing format, news, that kind of stuff. So Me saying totally the wrong thing. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, all that kind of Yeah, so the show really hadn't changed since then. And kind of wish I'd kept those recordings because yeah. it would have been interesting to go back and hear them. But that's pretty much, yeah, how the show got started, so... Uh, do you ever go back and listen to any of your old episodes just to kind of see how you did and see what you talked about, things like that? Um, a little bit. I mean, we... You do more than I Well, do. I've had to be for, for the purposes of this episode a fair bit lately, but, um, yeah, occasionally. I mean, we were, like, earlier we had a conversation about a title of one of our episodes, and usually we title them on something somebody said in that episode that was stupid or funny or whatever. Uh, and we were trying to have, like, we were trying to figure out who said... The thing, so I may go back and. I think what was it like, MacGyver School of Butchery or some shit? Somebody said that randomly, <laughs> and we just that we just told, like something I'd say. Yeah, I mean, but, I, but um, yeah, so like we couldn't work out who said it, but um, so I might go back and listen to that one, but I don't really go back and listen to um, specific episodes. I don't think really. I mean, like I said, I, over the last kind of four weeks or so since we've been preparing for this episode, um, yeah, I've kind of had to like go over, go back and kind of listen to some stuff. But, yeah, the show's changed a little bit since then, yeah. Yeah. So how would you compare the early days to, like, your later years on Games for All? Well, well infinitely better. <laughs> I was oh, that. first show, <laughs> I was actually playing Red Dead Redemption as we were recording it. Yeah, it was a little hard to get you to concentrate. Yeah. I remember it well. Um, I was so nervous because I do not like the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I, but, I never listen to yeah, old episodes. Yeah, the thing is, though, with you now, from when you first started, we can't get him to shut yeah, up. Yeah, those are those Yeah. I have to try and keep you in line a little bit. Editing yeah. kind of helps, but, you know, there's yeah. so much yeah. you have to kind of do <laughs> sort of while you're there recording. Um, yeah, no, I think the main difference is kind of sound quality. To begin with, we, we in 2010 when we decided we were going to do the show and make a go of it and stuff, we didn't really kind of think, hey, maybe we should kind of save up some money and buy some good equipment and shit. We're just like, hey, fuck it, we've got these rock, rock band mics, we can use those. <laughs> They're USB, we'll just plug those in. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, they, they, I mean, they served the purpose, they worked, but it didn't sound amazing. Um, so I think the first seven odd episodes, uh, we were using these, the rock band mics to actually do the podcast with, and then we've moved on to some slightly I, better mics. I, I remember since, after yeah. the first episode, we decided I definitely needed to invest in a pop shield. Yeah, that's something we, that, that was something we bought fairly, fairly early on with the, the little pop shields and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we've we have toyed around with the format a little bit, um, tried to f- fill gaps and stuff when there's been very little news and things. At one point, we were doing things where we had like a topic to talk about at the end of the show. We pretty much scrapped that after so many weeks. So <laughs> yeah. it was a lot of trial and error. But um, yeah, I think I think overall the kind of shows one thing that's um, different from the early days is less editing. I think we kind of we're able to kind of do a show where we don't have to cut so much stuff out. We've yeah. got our shit together. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Most of the time. We've, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe you've decided, you know, there's there's no point trying to edit out yeah, there's some, all the shit some, I some, say. Some yeah. turds you just can't polish. No. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, at some point you made the insane decision to partner up with UGN. How and why did that come about? <laughs> that's funny because, like, uh, Josh asked me this question like a few weeks ago, I remember now. And I didn't get around yeah. to answering the question, so um, yeah, that's kind of cool. We 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 so I think it's like March of last year, we did a whole revamp of our website, and as part of that, we kind of embedded a load of shit in the site that was like stat collecting and stuff like that. We went to other sites that uh, tied up the stats, and you guys were on one of these sites, and you were the only other podcast ranked in our category. I forget what the thing was now, but. Um, I'd check it and say, oh, we got so many hits today and this, that, and the other. And then UGM was popping up, too. like, And it was the only other podcast in the, like, the top 20 thing. So we were like, oh, let's just check this podcast out. And, you know, listen to, like, I think you were, like, episode three or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. really yeah. early on. So we, really, we, like, li- yeah, yeah, we listened to uh, listened to that and we are like, well, I, I mean, like, you guys didn't really know so much about it at the time, but I listened oh, to it. I got like, introduced to it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was like, I like the show, you know, um... We, we kind of had this idea of 
we played like 20 seconds of music during the break and it was kind of like we wanted something else to go in there and we thought well why don't we just partner up with somebody else <laughs> and get them to fill do, our space yeah it's not just like do that promos and stuff back and forth you know so um yeah <laughs> that's kind of it that's that's kind of the uh the whole thing there i mean i contacted you guys and um don't choke all right mate Fuck it out. <laughs> And, uh, and, spray it. and we were happy to jump aboard. So. No, we were. It was. It was great. It was just really random, though. We were like, "How the fuck did they find us?" This early? yeah. I like, mean, I think it was just. Pure, I think it was meant to be, dude. To be fair, I don't know. Like it. Oh, well, we just found you guys, and we thought, yeah, these are the guys to kind of partner because, like, you know, I, I'm not the biggest comic book or anime guy, but I appreciate those things, and I have been into those things in the past. So, like, I enjoy the, listening to the show you guys put together, and it's funny, well, and you know. Go on. I have this theory that that uh, that Craigie Craigie might have had a lot to do with. Uh, I know Craigie like you know he he digs a lot of that that shit right. Yeah, yeah I <laughs> do. So when, when I heard uh, Underground Geek Network and what you did, I was like, oh, I could get into this. And then I <laughs> listened to a couple of the shows. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we should do business with these people. These are my kind of people. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit, Dan. Let's. Get yeah, control. that's true. No, it had nothing to do with you there at all. <laughs> no, absolutely that's nothing. That's the ironic thing about it. Yeah. You were kind of like, oh, I want to partner up with these people. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I remember, actually, you, you emailed me back, Aaron, and um, I showed and I showed James the email that you sent back. It had, like, a promo in it, I think. And the, all James said straight away was, like, oh, Aaron T, that's a cool name. <laughs> 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 I was like, okay, maybe you should listen to the promo. <laughs> I think the day I knew that it was official was when I saw one of your guys' videos, and I think, Dan, you had a Dignation shirt on. Yeah, and a, yeah. A, a Green Lantern shirt on. And that's and pretty like, much us. And I was yeah. pretty much like, well, they're pretty much the British version of us, so <laughs> I guess that's it. I guess we have to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's I think, it. I think one thing that uh, came to light that you guys didn't realize when uh, we first made contact was that I'm actually part British as well. Yeah. So. yeah. 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 We're kind of linked up. You know? Yeah, I know. Like, Scary. Yeah. I can relate. So, um, you guys started off as a two-man crew, yeah. Dan and James, and then you added Michelle later. How did that? Uh, how did that change things? How did that work out? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You now it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, that was actually wasn't a big jump for us because Michelle had always kind of been part of the show, really. Um, Hiding behind the scenes. Yeah, you just kind of like you've been there helping us out, like if we needed. <laughs> Someone to hold a camera to film James puking in a bucket. You're there, <laughs> you know, uh, which we'll get to. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, anytime you, I mean, you really from like from episode one, you were helping to kind of promote it, saying like Facebook and stuff, kind of like, oh yeah, you know, check out this podcast. Yeah, I was always you know, like, on, yeah, trying to like Twitter get some more exposure and stuff for us, and that was kind of cool. And then like just little things like I say when we went to MCM Expo and things like that, we needed help with like the audio and stuff. We couldn't do it all ourselves, not really, in the way we not wanted to hands. do it. And so we kind of needed you to help us out, and you were more than, like, you know, happy to do it. Yeah, so we had T-shirts made. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and in the end, like, yeah, it was just the little things like that, like making T-shirts and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I think in the end, we kind of just decided, well, we, we, we tried to talk you into coming on the yeah, show before. Yeah, it kind of took me a while because, you know, I'm... I'm not a very, you know, talkative person. It does take me a while to come out of my shell. And um, it did kind of, you know, it did take me a while, especially when you were off for that, for that yeah, time. Yeah, well, yeah, I knew it was going to be tough. So but, yeah. I was kind of like, shit, okay. <laughs> but, you know, it, you know, it's, it just takes experience, you know, it takes time. Yeah, after a while, you got yeah. used to it and you know you're cool with it. I mean, yeah. the thing is, it's, like I say, it wasn't really a big jump for us. I mean, it might have been for the listener or whatever, but we, we've been trying to get on the show for a while. And yeah, we just we eventually kind of talked you into it. Yeah, you know, I think you kind of got sick and tired of being sent yeah, to the probably. bedroom every time. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. yeah. could have been it. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. to the bedroom. So that was just kind of it, really. I mean, and and I think by the time you'd done so many shows, you got into the rhythm of kind of talking to nobody, or whatever, yeah. uh, talking to us. Um, you kind of just got used to it, and yeah, no, it's been great. It's been great having around. All right, so. Um, over your 99 episodes that you've had, has anything stood out to you? Has anything kind of like, uh, does anything stand out in your mind that you can just instantly jump to and think about? Halloween uh, special. So many <laughs> things. Um, the specials. I Halloween think. special. <laughs> yeah. Well, Anytime we do anything different yeah. is... She calls those the James 
who's hiding behind shit special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, they're usually released on Shit Your Pants Tuesday, uh, <laughs> Games is a Pussy Monday, things like that. Um, yeah, no, we... we <laughs> Yeah, I think the big thing for me is the Halloween specials and things like that. More than video stuff we've done because audio is kind of easy to do. You kind of just set the mics yeah. up and hit record and do the thing, and the editing simple. With with the video side, of it, there's a lot more to it. We we find there's a lot more planning involved with yeah. doing something, especially with the Halloween specials and that. Um, selecting the games, it took us probably you right there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in, by the way. Continue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, with, with the Halloween specials, that took us probably about ten whole months of fucking planning to get this uh, for the second one at least. It took yeah. you ten whole months. I knew nothing about it. Yeah, well, we kept in the dark, but yeah. no, the Halloween specials definitely because a lot they were a lot of fun to shoot, not for you, but no, not for us, me at all. Um, a lot of fun to edit and to watch back. And I think people they've got the most downloads of any videos we've done. So, and then the other thing, uh, I know I'm talking about video a lot here, but. Uh, the retro specials that we did, the two part retro special, yeah. yeah, we had a fucking a lot of fun doing that because it was like we we were stumbling across games that we'd forgotten about, you know, like you forget about a lot of shit because so many games and that, but like we we were like doing the research for that and the background on it, um, yeah, just unearthing these like hidden gems and stuff of like games that we'd forgotten about and. That was a fucking hell of a lot of fun. And we, you know, we filmed it fairly quickly, but the editing took a fucking long time on that. But yeah. I think ultimately it's probably one of our best video episodes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, those were really great. We actually hosted a short portion of those. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. From our yeah. website, because, just because uh, just because we loved it so well, much. And those were my personal favorites, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. I think I think we just kind of... I don't know why, but we, we really dedicated more time to those, I think. Yeah. And... Because it's a two-part thing, because there's so much stuff to talk about. Um, yeah, no, we, we, I think looking back on it, more proud of those than anything. Um, then there's the other stuff, to, like you know, the Project Tabasco <laughs> episode. Yeah, that that was. Maybe you want to oh, explain some stuff about that, James. Yeah, that, that was kind of pivotal. To, in some shit. Yeah, pivotal to me learning to shut my big mouth. Um, I basically I wanted to hear who was listening. I wanted people to know about the podcast and I kind of like said oh you know what let's do something ridiculous let's say if we get so many emails I'll down a shot of Tabasco you know like you do like you do like, you do. like, you do. <laughs> like I do yeah yeah so um, last episode <laughs> but yeah this turned into a huge sort of campaign thing and <laughs> The thing is, you underestimated my the, how how far I'd go with it. Yeah, because, and how much people actually hated me. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, that. But like, I think everybody likes to see someone drink Tabasco. Yeah, I don't care who it is. I mean, it, you said it, and you're like, yeah, that's never going to happen. And the next day, I was like, right, I put out a video on Facebook, and we had a fucking campaign going. And yeah, yeah, yeah we, it, was, it took us like a day. What was that? <laughs> to one, get everything. The one sort of poster you put, which is just a picture of me screaming from Halloween special with a pair of chilies in my eyes. Yeah, that's when I kind of knew, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. We put an what event on Facebook. I, I love the fact that you started playing Ring of Fire. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. awesome. Great <laughs> choice. Musical choices is, is always good, but no, it's one of those things where I didn't think much about it until the event actually came. Well, no, the thing is that the, like two days before we did it, you, I remember, um, you were talking to me on like Facebook or whatever, and you said, "Oh, you know what? Maybe your shot's not big enough. Maybe I should do yeah. two shots." I was like, "Okay, fill your boots, mate." Uh, no, hang on. Maybe I should do three shots. I was like, "Okay, why are you doing this, you fucking moron?" And then you're like, "No, no, no. I tell you, what, this should be better. I could do a single, a double, and a triple." I was like, "You realize how much Tabasco sauce that is?" I've literally bought two <laughs> bottles, and you basically you had. Two bottles. Didn't yeah, you pretty it? much yeah. drank the whole, like, one and a half bottles of Tabasco sauce, I think. It didn't stay down, though. No, <laughs> yeah, true. it did not, did not stay but, down. But, yeah, we're, no. we're, we're yet to unveil the sequel of that where I snort a line of paprika. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't joke. No, no. Right. Campaign's on Facebook. Is that right, James? <laughs> no. no. Right. All right. <laughs> so, um, keeping that in mind, that huge mistake that you made, James... Yeah. Is there anything going back that uh, you guys would have changed or made different in your show? I think I would have liked to have done more games nights, and maybe found a way of doing them so there was less kind of us kind of just staring at the computer. Yeah, I know. Some of them were a bit awkward, but um, yeah. 
I don't know, I think for the most part we did okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think, well, yeah, that's the thing. We've got some announcements to make soon that may tie into that, but, yeah, Game Night was something that we probably could have done a little bit more often, uh, yeah. tried harder to kind of perfect a bit, maybe. Yeah. Because it was kind of very thrown together in the moment sort of thing. Oh, mm. let's just do the Batman thing, or let's just play this but, game. But, you know, so, yeah, so I, saying I, I think that. for us it was kind of more important that we get the videos out as soon as possible after the game came out. Yeah, I think that's what we were trying to aim for, but maybe yeah. we should have held back a day or so and maybe yeah know, took time with it a bit better, but, yeah. but you've you basically you you've you know from episode to episode you have gradually you know thought of ideas and made it better which probably made it harder to think of you know maybe. ways of yeah I but you know yeah. I, it was pretty well, structured oh many new stream was probably a big step too right yeah, yeah. i mean we tried that whole thing because the idea was game night yeah. live and that and uh it kind of worked for the kind of first two two that we did. I think the first one was Homefront. Then did like the Gears 3 beta. I forget what the next one was we tried to do. But we had so many issues with Ustream trying to like oh, stream everything. We had issues with um, fucking gameplay lag and everything like that. So we'd be like talking about, oh, it was fucking awesome. And then shit would happen like five seconds, ten seconds later. So it was kind of like... It kind of felt a bit dumb doing it that yeah. way. So in the end we kind of decided we won't, maybe we won't do it live. We'll just kind of... Just yeah. film it, it, just edit it so it's real time and kind of kind of cut it, edit it a bit so that it's kind of the best stuff. Um, so that's kind of what we did with that. But um, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I think it, it would have been good to do more of those. I think, you know, um, and perfect that a little bit more. I wish we'd kind of got more guests on the show yeah, and interviewed more people because we have had, obviously, we've had you guys on the show a few times and uh, we've been on your show and that. So, um, but we kind of wish we'd sort of. T- maybe just kind of contacted people in the industry or something and yeah. got people on as guests to talk about stuff. I don't know, maybe that would have been more interesting, I don't know, but that's little things like that that we, we would have liked to have done. Yeah. So um, you kind of said that uh, you might have some future announcements. Is there anything you care to kind of share right now with us about any kind of future plans with you guys? Yeah, we've got quite a few things to talk about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we, we obviously, this is our 100th episode. It's our last of the audio podcast we're going to be taking the website down um and we're going to be kind of reforming everything to a blog so we're going to have a tumblr blog um and everything's going to be posted on there but it doesn't mean that we're not going to be putting out content we've got some plans for future stuff um we're going to be doing if because uh, e3 is just around the corner uh it's next month and we're going to be doing a video for that so we'll be posting that on a blog and on Facebook and on YouTube and stuff like that. So we'll still be putting out videos. We've got, we've actually got plans to do a few more game night videos because um, yeah. there's still a lot of great games coming out between now and the end of the year. Um, so we'll hopefully do a few of those when we can get the time to do them. Um, at the end of the year, we'll be doing like a, a 2012 end of year review. Um, and um, I can officially announce now, we weren't going to announce this, but we are going to do it now, that we are planning our third and final uh, Halloween special. Uh, oh, wow. oh, wow. So we can look forward to sweet, salty tears from James. Yes, yes, yes right. you can look forward to that, yeah. So basically what we're going to do this time with it is that it's going to be, it's going to be live. <laughs> we're actually trying to, we've kind of worked out <laughs> a way to do this with Ustream now so that it will actually work out. But um, we're going to do it live and it's going to be like a five-hour fucking broadcast. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fucking interesting. I've already got all the games picked out and everything. So, I'm looking forward to hopefully a live chat. Where yeah, no, we're, we're going to hook all that up so it's all, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're really looking forward to Obviously, October's a little way away, but like we're going to do it on Halloween and everything. So, um, hopefully, obviously, it'll be recorded as well. So, if you do miss it, you know, you'll be able to fucking watch it the next day or whatever. We'll maybe like record it and put it on fucking uh, YouTube or something or on Facebook. So, but that's pretty much our announcements. I mean,. We're going to be doing stuff from kind of next month all the way up till the end of the year, and then we've got future plans for another show. Um, and I can't talk too much about it because obviously we've got a lot of ideas going on at the moment, some of which probably won't happen. But yeah. we've got uh, plans for a video podcast we're going to launch next February. Um, and it's going to, co- well, we're going to talk about video games and a bunch more stuff, you know, we're going to open it up a bit, because I feel that's one thing we, we really we restricted like ourselves on. broaden it. Yeah, We make yeah. so many references to, like, films and TV. And yeah, and that's something we'd like, like to yeah. include yeah. talking about and stuff, so... Um, yeah, no, so that's, that's kind of what we're going to do there, and um, 
obviously there's nothing set in stone with that yet. There's still time to plan it all. Um, so yeah, you know, that's all we can really talk about on that front at the moment. But yeah, should be good. I mean, obviously we, our Tumblr blog, uh, the Games for Podcast Tumblr dot com, is pretty much going to have all the announcements on there. So if you're if you're on there and you follow us on there or follow us on Facebook, Facebook dot com forward slash Games for Podcast, then yeah, you you get to hear about it. So yeah. Awesome. Looking forward to that. So it's safe to say that uh, the emphasis is going to be video. Very much. Now. So, very yeah. much so. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm going to need some more t-shirts. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. We need to get rid of the fucking crap then as well. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, this being the 100th episode, and you guys making it pretty far, um, is there anything that, you know, somebody starting a podcast, you think the feel they should know? Uh, any any tips or advice or anything like that? Yeah, don't do it. it. <laughs> Maybe for Maybe us. For us. <laughs> <laughs> we can help the help we can get. Um, well, basically, like, it's, I don't know. I mean, like, I've been doing this since 2005, and I still don't know everything. There's still a lot to learn for myself. But I think, like, you know, having, working out what you're going to do is the most important thing. And by that, I mean... Kind of looking on, looking at other podcasts, seeing what they're doing. Try not to rip that off too much, and trying to do. De- if you've got an idea that's similar to somebody else's, try and find a way to fucking do that differently, or put your own spin on it, so that people aren't just going to go, "Oh, this." I mean, there's fucking hundreds of gaming podcasts out there, um, and that's the problem. We kind of needed yeah. to try and do it our own way. If if we'd actually got in and got those 2008 episodes online and managed to start from there, yeah, we, we might have been. In yeah, that. it might have been in a better position now, but like. Um, it's tough out there. I mean, like you, you, you need to have a decent show that's going to stand out. Otherwise, you're just going to be sinking money into something that you know. All right, it might be gratifying to yourself, but if you really want people to listen to it, it's got to be different. It's got to be kind of fresh. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, audio stuff's easy enough to do. Video stuff's where it get complicated. Yeah. Um, with audio stuff, I think like uh, the thing to do is not get too caught up on audio quality so much i think if you've got decent content that people want to hear and want to listen to they're going to overlook the kind of you know say if you're recording on a laptop with just the microphone that's built in you can still put together a decent show i mean it's you know it's a bit of editing a bit of music here and there you know it's not the end of the world if it doesn't sound amazing from day one um it's something you can work on and the other thing would be the obviously like podcasting is a free medium uh, don't expect to get paid. <laughs> don't expect money. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, don't expect groupies. <laughs> well, maybe. But do expect a lot of work. Yeah, it's, it's hard work if you want to if you really want to do it properly. Below. Especially if you're the one editing it. Yeah, true. I yeah. guess. But um, yeah, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I mean, any, any other advice really? I mean, don't be afraid to kind of deviate and go off on tangents and just sort of yeah, it's, it's somewhat. Mind. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you're listening, if you're downloading it for free, you don't want you don't want every episode to be totally fucking different from the last because people will tune no, out if it's no. too if you fuck around too much. If you don't have a schedule or a routine, people might not bother. They might unsubscribe pretty quickly. But on the flip side of that, if you keep it too. Yeah, no, you, got, you have to so. kind of find that middle ground on that. But yeah. um, I, th- I suppose <clears throat> it's you got to have fun while you're doing it. Also, yeah, very important. I mean, you yeah. guys, you guys have that in space. That's pretty awesome. That's one thing that really comes through when we listen to your episodes. You guys are fucking having a good time and shit. So, and you know, you fucking Tiger Man's there, Panda Man's there, you know, that kind of shit. <laughs> 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 so yeah, no, I mean, um, yeah, just yeah, have fun with it. That's that's one of the main things. But there's so many podcasts out there, and a lot of them are. So the same, and some of them are really awful. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. you just think, oh, Jesus, damn. But, no, I mean, it's it's tough to get into and to kind of make something of. I'm not saying we're, we've done amazing things and we've got all these fans or anything, because we kind of haven't. The tough thing is to get people to like you and inter- interact with you and stuff. Yeah. We get loads of downloads, but we don't. We have, like, 50-odd people on Facebook like us. So it's like... You know, it's tough to get emails if you ask. Oh, we've we've stopped bothering in some ways to ask people to kind of email us in because there's no point now. No, obviously, but like for every kind of thousand people you might have listening to, you might only get like one person actually want to interact with you. So, you know, there's that to think about as well. I'm done. Sorry, I think if there's one thing that we could add in our short time that we've been doing a podcast is that 
basically don't be afraid to uh, if there's somebody you want on the show or you want something you want to contact somebody don't be afraid to send an email or contact them because odds are that uh, they'll be more than open to you know get in touch with you and do something with yeah, you yeah exactly I think that's something that we wanted we, we should have done a bit more of as well you know gone out there and kind of oh I mean other than you guys like fucking maybe speak to some like developers or something and get their take on some things I don't know you like you know, it wouldn't hurt to try. The way she'll get to know or fuck off or whatever, you know. Um, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So. I mean, yeah. an email is all it takes, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and don't, don't be discouraged if they don't get back to you, obviously. Exactly, I mean, yeah. There's, there's other, other people out there. And just keep doing what you're doing. And if, you, if you're if you enjoying it and, and, and it's paying off for you yeah. and more, you know, one or two people listen to it, then you're helping other people. Other people are enjoying it. Yeah. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. So. Yeah, awesome. Um, so, I guess our last and final question we have for you, which is, uh, for us at UGN, one of the most important questions we think on the list, at what point did you guys decide the four is a number? <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I think probably... Wasn't it from a, a comment that one of probably you like, Probably like three or four years old when I started. No, probably before that. I don't know. When did you start learning numbers? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we, we figured out four was a number pretty early on and then just kind of, well, fuck it, yeah, that's good. That'll it work. didn't really bother, bother us putting it in the podcast, but I think it was one of the comments that you came up in your podcast. Yeah, yeah then the four is a number. Yeah. I mean, that's, that came that's straight really, from yeah. you. I mean, we... we it's you know, stuck. I don't know why. Yeah, no, <laughs> we just like to use a letter for your, for your Twitter. I mean, that that's... We we love that too. That's awesome. We we kind of hope that like you guys will actually record a jingle for us, so that we can put it in our show every uh, we week. Have, yeah, we let you down. I apologize. What's no, right so right good. <laughs> <laughs> the boy is a number. number. Sweet. That's my new ringtone. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, uh, with that, that's pretty much the end of this segment. That's all the questions I have for you for now. Um, coming back from the break, we're going to talk about E3 and the future of gaming. Welcome back to the third segment of the Games for All podcast. In this segment, we're going to be talking about the future of gaming and E3 in 2012 or 13 and what we kind of expect to come from the expo. And uh, we'll start with you, Dan. What, what mm-hmm. direction do you think like gaming is going to go in after this conference? Like, What do you think, uh, what, what kind of turns do you think we're going to take? Lawn uh, man. That's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, virtual reality. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, I think... Uh, there's a big thing, I mean, you mentioned this earlier about um, fucking anti-piracy and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's a big kind of uh, controversial thing, you know, at the moment. And I think that's, yeah, I think there's going to be developments in far, as far as that goes. Um, None of which, which that will work. For any uh, period of probably time. not, no, but like, um, it'll be interesting to see what they do to try and combat that, because it is a big problem at the moment. And, um, you know, so, yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that's pretty much the only real answer i got to that I think, yeah i think we'll i think we'll see um yeah like kind of uh just new ways to stop people from fucking pirating games and shit maybe i don't know i can i think i agree with you i think we're in the age of exploration where a lot of the companies <laughs> like sony and microsoft are uh, kind of just coming into uh a new age where they want to try different things and see what works and see what doesn't work mm. And see how to stop people from pirating. Damn. And see, <laughs> yeah. see if they can find a Her. cap on that. Um, I, don't, I personally don't think that will ever happen. No, yeah. Uh, I think for damn sure they're going to try. So um, we're going to see a lot of different experiments. We're going to see probably, um, you know, a lot of a lot of new integrations as far as, you know, Connect goes and a lot of different, um, you know, uh, add-ons as far as the console. Trying to, you know, even make it probably a uh, just all in one media device, which is, I think, what they've been trying to do for a long time. Just yeah. everything media-wise into one device. I think what, I think I read something uh, the other day about um, Microsoft are going to try and do this whole thing where it's more it's more like getting a mobile phone. Yeah, you pay for yeah, you that. pay for a yeah. subscription so much per month, or whatever. It's like fifteen dollars a month or something. You get a free Xbox, but you have to pay for so many months. It's like a contract. Yeah, it's um, like two years of Xbox Live. Yeah, something. and yeah. you get you do get extra things thrown in, stuff like extra content and that, but. Um, I it's think like that's the new business, the point. business model kind of thing. Yeah, you yeah. have to pay so much. Um, the new, yeah, the new business models and stuff they're trying to. I mean, 
we're at the end of the kind of lifespan of the 360 and PS3, really, in some ways. Like, there's only a few more lef- years left in it, I think. So they're going to try and really push to kind of make as much money as they can out of the, the hardware they've got at the moment. Like you say, by adding new peripherals, maybe, this, that, and the other, um, before they announce anything new. I think they've got, they can really push things a bit more. There's, you know, they've, they, they've sold a lot of connects, but they could probably try and sell more. Um, you know, by doing whatever with it, who knows? But this, the new business models and stuff, the way the way that you know, like I said, integrating things like Netflix and Hulu and things like that into, um, and and yeah, just like a whole basically maintaining the console into like a, a media center in general, um, yeah. is very appealing to a lot of people. Yeah, I think that's the thing with the business model changing is that people instead of paying things by things, whether it's music, <laughs> games, or movies or whatever, it's not on a per copy basis anymore. Mm. It's it's pay a subscription and then you get the content. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the biggest thing I think in the future is gonna be pay a monthly yearly fee and you get unlimited uh, access to this many games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of on a per copy basis. That's yeah. where the business model has to change or it, So I guess basically by saying that you're saying that like Things like the the new maybe with the new Xbox, it's going to be all cloud based and maybe more like online, online or whatever it's called. Like, hey, uh, yeah, this is the success of something like Netflix. I mean, yeah. instead of like on a per movie basis, it's pay for a month, pay for a year, and you get the content. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think something similar like that could be headed in the way of gaming. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them at least trying it. I don't know. I mean, it, it probably wouldn't work straight away. I think they'd fuck it up. But, like, um, no, but it would be a bit of trial and error. But um, it would be interesting to see if it actually does work out that way. Yeah. You know, it might work out better for us as gamers. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe. But it would also combat the thing that developers have about fucking... They've got a big bug up their ass about second-hand games and things like that. Selling, like, you know, reselling games and things like that. So that's another thing that people are... They're trying to stop people doing. So who knows? Yeah. Well, I, I want to... Quickly apologize because I didn't introduce Zom from UGN that just joined us here coming back from the break. And uh, kind of get her ideas on what, what do you think the future of gaming is? Where are you going to go from here? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I... Not spot at all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just, you know, throw the entire show at you. Right? <laughs> like, but... That's okay. I actually had some opinions about it. Um, I didn't think that it's starting to become... It's starting to come to the point where kind of the sky is the limit because technology is actually catching up to what certain, you know, manufacturers and developers of games have been wanting to do for 20 or 30 years. And they yeah, just yeah. could Like the Avatar movie, you know, he had this idea and he waited for the technology to catch up with what he wanted to do with the movie. And so now they're finally getting to the point where they're able to do that and you get things like the Kinect, which is exciting for so many people because it... It's sort of the, you know, what do you want to call it, gateway drug into this new revolution of, of gaming, this new, completely different thing that that people weren't able to do before. And they tried, you know, stuff like that with the, I don't know, like the power glove and, you know. Yeah. This sort of, <laughs> oh, wow. It was, you, know, <laughs> you say that. It was, you know, <laughs> as close as they could come to what they wanted with the technology they had. And now... It's sort of like everybody is, is racing to come up with new technologies and new things to sell to people that people want for, for new you know styles of gaming. And so I think that you're going to see a lot more of the Kinect type games and it's going to evolve into, I don't even know, I can't even begin to conceive so of what they're going to come up with after the Kinect. It pretty much be a race to arms as to who has the best different, new, exciting way to play games. Yeah. Right, well, way, but now it's becoming... It's it's really exciting because technology is just... I mean, it's... I can't even... I hear about things, and then I'm like, they, they can do that now? And, like, I didn't even know that they could do that with technology. Yeah. Like, that's how far... That's how fast it's moving that I haven't even... You know, you hear about it, and it's been around for months, and you're like, I didn't even know that they could do that now. Yeah, I mean, you got the oh my bod thing now as well, and everything. Technology's great. And there's, of course, your uh, your <laughs> yoga fitness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, as as far as uh, future titles, uh, what are we excited for? Like, are we looking for any announcements here at E3? Or are we uh, wanting anything here specific? Uh, <laughs> 
Well, I'm kind of looking forward to more like tech demos and stuff. I mean, we've seen, even if the next generation of consoles isn't announced, we've been seeing a lot of demos of what they could look like. I mean, we had that Samaritan trailer from Epic, what that could look like. And then there was the Kara trailer from Quantic Dream. Sort of like where the next sort of technology will go and what games will look like. And that's the sort of thing I'm more interested in sort of seeing. I mean, obviously, announcements of sequels and stuff is always looking forward to it. It's like, oh, yeah, I want to hear more stuff about Assassin's Creed 3 and Bioshock and... Yeah, definitely. All that. So, but no, it's kind of like glimpses of where the technology is going because... Because now sort of the Xbox and the PS3 is at the end of its lifespan. That can kind of push it as far as it can go. And we've seen some really amazing things over like the last year. Yeah, true. Yeah. Game Gameplay-wise and how they look. So it'd be interesting to see all that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 even though I just mentioned it earlier, um, yeah, I'm interested to kind of see Tomb Raider again and Bioshock, obviously. Um, and it's kind of not to sound like a fucking... FPS boy, I'm kind of interested to see Crisis 3 in action, see yeah, what that's going to be yeah. like, and fuck it, Black Ops 2, I'm going to say it, you know, I'm interested to see what that's going to do. You I mean, the, the trailer's out, it's yeah. going to be, we've seen a few things, and it looks uh, different enough that it's interesting. Yeah, exactly, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah it looks, trying to oh. change it up a bit, you know, that's kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know if he's being sarcastic or not, <laughs> uh, I think I, yeah, it's maybe. set a little in the future, I mean, yeah. as we saw. And, you know, I don't want to get too much into it, but I, there's a lot of different aspects from the Call of Duty franchise that they've never really uh, approached before. Yeah. Um, Battlefield has approached before, at, and I think in Battlefield, what was it, uh, Future or something or whatever. I forget the yeah. title of it, but yeah. they've approached it before, the whole future aspect of it. Um, Call of Duty hasn't, and it seems kind of like a refreshing breath from them, so I'm looking forward to more information on that. And I'm not... By any means, a first-person shooter fanboy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, first-person shooters, but I don't prefer them over other games. So, if it's exciting to me, I think a lot of other people are going to be excited about it. Yeah, I'm just intrigued um, at this point. I think. Yeah, it's just one of those things I want to keep an eye on and see where it goes from here. Yeah. Um, I think also a DLC. You know, it's always been around here the, the past four or five years, or a little bit more, but um. There seems to be a lot more DLC that's uh, huge. Uh, so like the Batman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that DLC where it's pretty much taking a whole new chapter on the game and uh, kind of giving you more, giving you like a fresher gameplay experience. Sort of harkens back to like the old expansion packs you used to get on PC games and stuff where it would be huge kind of episodic content and stuff added onto it, which is kind of been missing over the last couple of years because DLC has been lots of like little chunks and all that and that's kind of this generation has been the sort of DLC yeah, minefield yeah. it's turned into so it's nice for them to so I, I think they even said like Skyrim and stuff the DLC for that we're not going to get horse armor again we're going to get large <laughs> kind of titles for that and they've just announced like new Skyrim DLC as well so I'm hoping maybe we'll see a bit more of that and what that involves yeah, that'd be cool. Definitely yeah. expect this, uh, not even like so much hardcore new game announcements, but DLC announcements, just because they're adding so much to existing games that people still love and enjoy, and giving us so much more. They'll just, you know, games now, they used to last like, what, three or four months, and then you're done with them? Mm-hmm. Now with DLC, yeah. you're playing them for like a year and a half, two years, because they keep coming out with things. And yeah. We're- not I bad. think it's safe to say, though, that DLC should always be an augmentation, though, and not something that's required to get... Yeah. To yeah. get the... F- yeah. yeah, it's bullshit. I hate when they do that kind of crap. It's such a cheap trick. Yeah. Cheap trick. <laughs> and not like a band. <laughs> not like a band. <laughs> <laughs> In a live, bad way. Live. Really? Oh, yeah. It's all alive. They but were as far as, like, future actual titles, like you said, Dan, I'll looking forward to Laura Croft. Looking forward to Crisis Three. I'm looking forward to um, Bioshock. Yeah. In- um, pretty much all the things they've announced at this point that we still have not seen yet. Um, and you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of titles that uh, we're just waiting. We're just like waiting. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure there'll be loads of stuff we don't know about that's going to blow our minds. 
Yeah, so I think at this point, at this E3 coming up, they're just going to be happy revealing more about these titles that we're waiting for as opposed to seeing a lot more. Mm -hmm. I think they might now announce a few more, but they're probably just going to give us what we're expecting as far as hearing more about these great titles we've already heard about. As far as announcements, though, like what kind of sequels do you think uh, you guys would be looking forward to? Maybe E3 like announcement wise. Um, sequels. I mean, you guys got any ideas? Oh, this is a, probably a long way off, but you know, I was a huge fan of um, when it first came out, Mirror's Edge. Yeah, you 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 you're waiting for the last yeah. couple of years at E3. Yeah. You've been waiting for a Mirror's Edge two announcement. Yeah, I mean, there's I so many rumors about it as well. I actually yeah. read another one the other day yeah. that. The new Connect 2.0 that they're going to be bringing out, it's going to, they're going to develop it for next-gen consoles using Frostbite and all that kind of stuff. And you know, it's all bullshit at the moment. But like, there's, I think EA had, it was pitched to them, and they said, well, you know, it is a cult hit, but we don't see it being commercially. Like, it, it's not going to be like it's not going to make us enough money to be worth doing yet. So I think if enough fans push for that, yeah, Mirror's Edge 2 could be a possibility. There's so many things they could do with it, but. Um, I think it'll happen eventually. But yeah. Eventually. <laughs> I mean, have you, anything you can think of? Um, um, Obviously um, not. No. That's good. <laughs> um, I think... I mean, well, go on. You've yeah, got your fan on there. There's, I tend to sort of stick to franchises anyway, mm. which have multiple iterations. So any kind of like more news on Dragon Age 3 or... Future Bioware type. Yeah, anything Bioware basically is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Or, okay, fair enough. So sort of anything I've been waiting for, um, what else <laughs> have I been waiting for? There's loads of stuff. I think. Another Red Dead game would be cool. Yeah, I still need to play the first one. Jesus. Um, I, I, for me personally, um, although it's kind of. It's not been announced, it's been kind of leaked that there's information about it, but Dead Space 3, that's what I'm. I'm fucking all over that shit. I'm, I really. Yeah, I want to know more. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be awesome. I think Dead Space did really well as a mobile app as well, which I yeah. think is part of the yeah, game. I, I have that, and it's it's fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. So, I think uh, I think like you guys mentioned, um, Red Dead Redemption. Like if they had a sequel to that, they can they could pretty much make that its own franchise. I mean, yeah. not obviously yeah. slight spoiler. Skip ahead five seconds with the same character, but uh, they can make a they can make a franchise out of that Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> Easily, you know, easily. So, yeah. I mean, if you haven't beat that game by now, then that's kind of your own fault. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know. That is my own fault. <laughs> yeah, that is your own fault. And I didn't yeah. say what happened to the character either. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I've been trying to get you to play that since I the know, very first dude, episode. Fucking, I love it. It's, it's sad, 100 episodes, you've still not picked it up. Sorry. But uh, I'm also looking forward to, uh, I mean, this isn't a title, this goes more back to DLC, but just uh, an actual ending to Mass Effect 3, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, more information on that would be good. Still seeking the Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> James, what's your hat? And they're probably going to expand on the multiplayer on Mass Effect 3, and, uh, you know, this is me going out on a limb, but I'm thinking uh, they may mention something alluding to the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer like massive multiplayer experience. Yeah. Uh, they might have something coming up for that. And maybe um, the ending of Mass Effect 3 is going to kind of reflect what type of style you're going to be using in that massive multiplayer experience on Mass Effect 3. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards. That's just my personal opinion. I think that might happen, but maybe not at E3. <laughs> Speaking of uh, MMOs, hasn't there been sort of news leaked on a uh, Elder Scrolls MMO? Oh, yeah. Have they not announced that yet? Officially? Yeah, no, that's official. Is it? Yeah, it's happening. Anyone interested in that? They've really? actually, they've actually released know. a few things about that. And, uh, I'm excited about it. I knew it was sort of inevitable. Yeah. It was yeah, inevitable. Yeah, yeah, it kind of was. Skyrim. Yeah. It, it, it had to be in the, in the wings. I am so on board with that, by the way. Sweet. I'm I'm always, not, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool for the, like... Well, if it comes out on consoles, then yeah, but if it's a PC <laughs> or anything, then... True, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're kind of screwed, dude. My, my PC practically blows up every time I bring up the calculator or whatever, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's really not joking. No, really, really. I can literally, I can do one thing at a time on my PC. There's a reason we don't use your computer to record the podcast anymore. Because well, the, 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 it was wearing out the mics. 
<laughs> it was just it was just the fan would kick in and you just couldn't hear yourself over it. It was horrible. No, so Jesus. Yeah, anyways, I can dream, but yeah, more console MMOs I think would be a good thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you know? I guess so. Yeah, it would be yeah. good. Okay. No, they, they don't. It's something kind of missing. It's like a genre that we would like to see. A lot of people would like to play. It's like it's become it's... obvious that WoW has kind of outstayed its welcome, right? Mm. Well, maybe not outstayed its welcome. Well, not outstayed its welcome. It's, yeah, it has. It's, it's seen no, its time and we it need new things. Yeah. It's outstayed its welcome because yeah. this shit, this last bullshit patches that they've come out with are just, I don't know. And this is from our WoW players on, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even... The spirit behind WoW is, like, gone. All they care about is... And it's funny, too, because they say that that's not the case. They say that the reason that they're coming out, trying to come out with these patches a little more quickly is so because gamers go through the patches, the new expansion so fast, and, like, level up and get everything you can get so quickly that they're having trouble, and then they ask for more. And so they're like, oh, well, we got to hurry and come up with a new patch. It's yeah, like, oh, thank that. you for this piece of shit patch that you've given us. <laughs> that you're in a rush to get... It's like, you know, no, don't bear about this at all. I was <laughs> happy. It's like, yeah, no what? kidding. There's still plenty of stuff to do. I mean, all people fucking do is PvP anymore anyway. So it's like, really? <laughs> pandas? 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 Well, that's yeah. how many people that was dropped off. I did, I did see the Kung Fu Pandas on there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, but impact. my PC only just runs Warcraft 2, so uh, I don't think... <laughs> I'm sure the gigantic 99% of WoW players' PvP population is going to be deeply impacted by the Panda expansion. Well, ask, ask Blizzard how many people have dropped off to, how many thousands have quit playing. Yeah. Straight dropping off every month. Yeah, yeah. yeah tell you that they've got it wrong. It's not because they're not coming out with new expansions fast enough. It's because they're doing shit like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, see, you, might you, have... you, can, you can be Panda Men on World of Warcraft. All you need now is like Tiger Men. And... <laughs> <laughs> back, Absolutely. Yeah. That's how, that's how to get players back. Yeah. Win them over. That's one time, Josh. Panda Man, Tiger Man. Panda Man, Tiger Man. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Awesome. All right. That's well, uh, does anybody have anything else they want to add as far as predictions? Uh, up? Um, I want to see a new Shadow of the Colossus sequel. Zom wants to see yeah. a new Shadow of the Colossus. That would yeah. be nice. I think oh, there's a lot see more of the Last Guardian. I think there's a lot of things people are kind of really dreaming that they're going to see, like Half Life Three and things like that. But you know, a lot of it, <laughs> yeah, right. a lot of it's been like already shot down that that shit ain't going to happen. So, <laughs> um, you know, every year, you know. What about Halo? Half-Life. Meh. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you have Halo, then you really yeah. need We're on the same page like there, at least. Same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I think me personally, this is just me being kind of a fanboy, so I'll admit it outright. I'm looking forward to a little bit more Kingdom Hearts news. Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> something like that. I mean, that's just me. That, that's what I'm looking forward to. Hey, right? what about... What about... Um, fuck, what's that game? <laughs> <laughs> well, what about... The... the, the <laughs> The American Indian one. The Indian one. Assassin's Creed 3? No! What? Prey. Prey. Oh, oh Prey 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Release date. We know it's been uh, delayed. Yeah. Uh, and we also want, let's see, uh, uh, Darksiders. I don't know. A little more news yeah. on Darksiders. Oh, no. Yeah, more news on Darksiders. So, I mean, pretty much we're, at this point, we're left with a lot of games that we're just waiting for more information mm-hmm. for. So, mainly, right? Fucking. That game that you can't Bioshock. Of. Yeah. I mean, there's the thing with Bioshock. They've already shown us, like, two big 15-minute chunks of the game, and yet there's still so much more I think they've got to show us, so... Unless it is only, like, a half-hour long I, game. I doubt it very much. But, um, this, is, this is the first true Bioshock sequel. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's yeah. going to be amazing. Yeah. Game night, yeah. Bioshock. You hit it here first. <laughs> I've been oh. hearing it for ages, man. True, that's my point, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, yeah, I'm very excited about Bioshock Infinite. Have been for a while. It's going to be awesome. All right, the first well. one scared me. Yeah, I know, why? I don't like being underwater. The, a lot of, uh, okay, fair enough. Sharks but, like, a lot, a lot of people have that opinion, but I don't know, and I don't quite get it, but, yeah. Okay. A lot of things scare me. True. That's why we do like, another Halloween it, special. Yeah. I'm going to put Michelle on the spot. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Is there anything you'd like to see at um, all? 
Well, I still haven't actually. I mean, I was looking forward to uh, Final Fantasy thirteen versus. Was it versus thirteen, yeah. 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 Versus but thirteen, I'm, I'm, twelve, two, ten. Because yeah, yeah. they kind of need to get that out of the way before they can work on Kingdom Hearts three. So. True. Any more news on that would be good. Be great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how about, no, I mean, it's I mean, just like you, you know. you're excited for Team Raider, right? Yeah, Team Raider. I'm looking forward. That's look fucking so, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, fuck Team Raider. Look, I am a fan of. Team I mean, it's good for Team Raider. Raider. Yeah. It's good for I'm, I'm looking forward to a more. <laughs> yeah, James. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to a more adult Team Raider, but not in that one. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, way well, good, 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 good <laughs> grown up Team Raider. Good way to desexualize <laughs> the character. That really worked. Ow! Right. <laughs> well, uh, as far as that goes, it looks like we pretty much have our predictions in. We have what we expect from, from it. Um, hopefully, hopefully they uh, they deliver and we get a good E3 this year. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. When we come back from it, uh, you guys, uh, Games for All, gonna introduce your favorite segments. Indeed. Of the past ninety nine episodes, this being a hundred. And um, can we share something too? I got some. I got some I'm personal. Excited. You have some personal things you yeah. can share. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll some personal things at the end of that. So, uh, awesome. Go ahead, we'll go ahead and take, go ahead and take a break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to segment four, where we have a uh, few of our favorite clips over the past ninety-nine episodes of Games for All podcast, and uh, there are some awesome ones here. Dan, you want to go ahead and uh, kind of lead us into it? Yeah. So basically, we've um, we've gone over a bunch of shows that we've uh, already recorded, like the last ninety-nine shows. Picked out some of the funniest stuff, some of the best stuff, some of the stuff that didn't make it into episodes. A lot of outtakes in there. So we put together a bit of a compilation of, I think, some of our favorite moments. Um, I mean, obviously, we spoke about the Tabasco thing. That's obviously in there. Certain things from the Halloween special and stuff. So it's, it's kind of a nice little compilation of things that we've kind of... Uh, that when we think about the show, we um, yeah we think about these moments. So uh, we're just going to play this for the next uh, six minutes or so. Um, listen to uh, what? Yeah, nothing. Is that funny? Yeah. Okay. He knows what's coming. Yeah. I know what's coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, starting from uh, kind of episode one, it does skip a little bit. It's not, not like a clip from every episode. That would have been too long to do, but we picked some of the highlights, and uh, so here we go. Okay, hello and welcome to the Games for All podcast. Um, I'm your host, Dan, and with me is my good friend, James. Hello. And um, obviously, this is a show about games. We're going to be talking about games. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good start. Um, hello and welcome to the Games for All podcast. The episode... <laughs> <laughs> it's <that> again. <laughs> it's a good start. It's not a game that I was... Um, eagerly seeking out. Um, I know you were, but um, well, I love cowboys. Oh, fair enough. Uh, let's say about the better. Um, so <laughs> I like the way they make me feel. Uh, please don't. Um, Hello and welcome back to the Games for All podcast. Not that you went anywhere, most likely. Well, I've got a cup of tea. Oh well, yeah. In which case, thank you for coming back and well done. continuing. And I hope you enjoy your cup of tea mm. or coffee. Yeah. We don't discriminate. Might be a cold beverage. Ah, yeah. uh, start again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Games for All podcast. Hope you enjoyed your break. Hope you got a nice beverage. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine when I have a cup of fucking tea or something. <laughs> oh, you enjoy your beverage. <laughs> fucking hell. What's up with you? I don't know. Hello and welcome to the Games for All podcast, a special edition of the show from the MCM Expo in London. I'm your host, Dan Young. With me, as always, my good friend, James Craigie. Geeks out. Well, I've just played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer. I finished first, which I think helped a little bit. I just got a chance to play Dead Space 2, which is pretty much one of the reasons I came here. Um, fucking awesome. I just got the chance to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, I took James head on and I won, so that was good. Just finished playing Goldeneye on the Wii. So much like the N64 version. So much fun. Welcome back to the Games for All podcast. News. <laughs> Welcome back to the Games for All podcast. Now we're going to talk about this week's news. And it seems like there's quite a lot of it. There is There is a fair bit. Okay. 
Is that is there a fair bit? <laughs> okay. But you you're not a big fan of being scared in general. You don't like horror films that are really scary. And you know, you really play games that are scary. So yeah. that's why we've kind of done this podcast, this uh, special Halloween edition of Games Called Extra. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it. Keep going, keep going. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> big event this week. Hey, big event everywhere. What, what, what might that be? Halo Reach launch parties. Oh, okay. All over the world, people have been going absolutely I hadn't, I hadn't realised. What <laughs> 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 You can't say that. You can't say that. Oh, no. <laughs> And if 10 listeners email us before next week's show, I will drink Tabasco sauce live on air. Yeah, excellent. We're not live, though. We're not live. We could do a video on stream. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. <coughs> not quite as, as fun as you thought it'd be. No. No. <laughs> okay. Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Other big thing, Black Friday. Yeah. Which Coming is... Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Rac- racial connotations aside. What? I was just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was Black Friday? <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> well, tying in with that, um, as you may know, but our listeners might not, it is Black Friday. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, I, I've got to put this out there because when we use this for that, I'm not, ra- I'm not racist, but. It, I don't know what, I just, it's my, it's my level of humour, right? It just, I can't not laugh at that. Tying in with that, this coming Friday... <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, dude. Well, tying in with that, it's Black Friday, which is... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you can't say it like that, no, it's Black Friday! <laughs> just trying to get that over and done as quick as possible and move on to the next sentence. <laughs> Tying in with that. <laughs> Tying in with that. Uh, end of the week. It's Black Friday. Yeah. Better. Do you know I think we'll do well? What? Black Ops. Yeah. Probably. Hello and welcome back to the Games for All podcast. Dot com. You don't need to put dot com on there. Well, I need to say dot com. Why? Because it doesn't sound like dot com. All right. <laughs> Fair news. So, um, that's that's awful. That's bloody awful. I do know. You, I know. Do you say for deed? No, dude. That's awful. That's not... That, I mean, I wouldn't even recognise that as American. What? What are you talking about? Anyway. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our friends over at www.undergroundgeeknetwork.com. How was that? That was, that was that'll awesome. Do. That'll do, wasn't it? That, that was really cool, dude. That uh, wasn't funny, but it'll do. I'm not Spanish. I'm Egyptian. <laughs> nice. Haggish? What is haggish? Well done. Awesome. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I do not like your food. <laughs> Okay, I'll do. Get to the chopper! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Games for All podcast. I spat then. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a lot of uh, thinking time uh, over the last so many weeks and we've come to the decision that we are going to end this podcast. <laughs> That's it. We come that, to the that decision. That was rather depressing. Yeah, bit no, it was a further depressing bit at the end. It was kind of all laughs and then it was like, fucking depression! <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's like right before, <laughs> right before the part where, like, the part you where you were doing our accents, <laughs> and then boom, oh, yeah, we're yeah. ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, sorry, guys. Oh, wait, <laughs> just, just in case you forgot, Games for All is no more. <laughs> we didn't just mean a reminder. it. Yeah. We didn't mean to end your podcast. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Man. We feel like we didn't do you any justice. <laughs> oh, now you have to kill yourself, Aaron. Uh. So yeah, there's yeah, a we, lot of stuff on there really, I've yeah, forgotten. Yeah. yeah, we've had a really good like hundred episodes, and obviously we're still going to do more stuff. We've still got the blog, and we're still going to be putting out stuff on Facebook and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of not really the end of us per se. It's kind of the end of the weekly shows and stuff. Yeah. We've been doing this for nearly two years, like weekly. I think the only time we really we're old it, and tired. Yeah, I mean, it's just we're getting a bit fatigued with it, really, and yeah. we want to kind of move on to new things, bigger, better things, and that. So. Um, but we're still going to be about, and hopefully, like, we'll, you know, we'll be on your guys' show at some point to promote something, possibly the Halloween special, who knows? I mean, if you guys will have us back on, I mean, we always have a real good time, so. 
we hope you'll come back. Yeah, no, definitely. definitely. We're up for it, man. And, and, you know, obviously we've got our new show to think about for next year. We're hoping you guys are going to be a part of that as well. Um, so we kind of like to thank absolutely everybody who's been involved with the show. You guys over there at UGM have been amazing uh, this past year because we've been affiliated with each other for about a year now. So um, anyone who's been on the show, our guests, um, just about anybody who's been involved. I mean, Joe, who does all the artwork and stuff. Yeah. Um, does an amazing job. Um, we're working with him for the new shows to, to, to put some more, you know, get, get some artwork done and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, he's been amazing. Um, yeah, everybody's been involved with it. Hostgator, who've been pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Um, you guys who fucking stepped up when I couldn't do the show for a while and. Well, we, we did our best. Yeah, no, but you, 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 did, you, did what, you did what you had to do, and, you know, you, it was good, good stuff, so... It almost ended our relationship <laughs> at one point, but... I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thanks to everybody. Thanks to the listeners, most of all, for kind of downloading the show and, um, yeah, kind of just uh, giving us a reason to do it, really. Yeah. I know many of you, many of the listeners haven't actually kind of contacted us, or not as many as we'd like to have, and this involves him drinking Tabasco sauce, then they fl- the emails flood in, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> <laughs> seems to be the only way, I don't know. Um, so yeah, no, but thanks to absolutely anyone who's downloaded, subscribed, listened to the show, anyone who's been involved with it, thanks everybody, it's been amazing, so thanks a lot guys. Definitely, and uh, thank yeah. you for having me us on your last and final episode it's a great honor um wouldn't have been the same without you yeah exactly wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been first folks it's for me um i've been listening to you guys uh when i was since uh probably around the same time you contacted us i started listening to you guys around then it was just our third episode which is about a year and a half ago almost or so yeah something like that yeah yeah and then um I, I was at a position where I had a job where I had a lot of downtime and I can listen to you guys. And you guys actually got me through a lot of time at work just listening to you. And awesome. I'm glad, we can, glad we can help. Thanks to you guys. So. Yeah, cheers, man. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to cry now. Get so, the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, it really has. It really, you, guys are, you guys, I love listening to you guys. And oh, I love, I love you too. <laughs> it, it really, you know, partnership and no partnership, I would totally listen to you guys. All the time. Yeah. So this is this is alcohol talking. This is not alcohol. This is nothing. This is. Are you sure? You sure? Whenever somebody's adamant that it's not the alcohol, it's usually <laughs> usually when it is, is the alcohol. Yeah. Pretty, pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we you guys have come a long way. Uh, you've done quite a few things, and uh, you know we kind of we kind of look up to you because you guys made it to that hundred episodes, and we're still. Well, I am very tall. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we, uh, it's, it's a milestone, and you guys will get there in no time. Uh, uh, you know, I fucking we'll host we your hundredth episode. <laughs> Do what? Yeah. <laughs> we'll host your hundredth episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter how many times I try, it's we'll not going to come out. You should get really drunk so you can. We do. So I will not be. You know, yeah. we, I will not be standing, so it will be up to you to uh, <laughs> do it. <laughs> You, you, you got to kind of be sober at some time. I mean, that website's not going to keep fucking making itself, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Somehow it stayed up magically. Yeah, that's all good. No, we, we, we've we been so, like, happy to be working together with you guys and, um, yeah, proud of, like, every everything you guys do and when you guys do something different and we, you know, we really enjoy the show. We're fans of the show that you do too, so it's nice to kind of be, you know, involved with each other like that. I mean, that sounded mm-hmm. weird, but, you know. <laughs> Involved with each other? No, I mean, it's not sexual. No, it's not. <laughs> it can't be because you guys live so far away. You really can't, couldn't be that sexual anyway. Oh, I can't stretch that far. Relationship. You can't stretch that far. That's that nice. Far. Thanks. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's been a it's been a great honor, and uh, we definitely appreciate you guys letting us host your hundredth episode. No, it's yeah. been a pleasure, man. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know why you would do that in your right mind. But... <laughs> yeah, I think it worked out all right. <laughs> all right. Well, um, to be quite I honest, guess at this point... after this last 100th episode, we kind of knew you couldn't do any worse than we did. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ignore what that. Anyway, so yeah. So, so we'll go ahead and wrap up the 100th and final episode yeah. and uh, just go ahead and, you know, just say bye to everybody and if there's anything else you want to say, then... No, Miss but, you! Yeah, it's going to be awesome Like the, when we, we finally stop putting out video content. Um, hopefully people will miss us. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But 
Um, we're still going to be about uh, games for podcast uh, dot tumblr dot blo- uh, dot whatever it is. <laughs> I forget now. The games for podcast dot tumblr dot com. Um, that's going to take over from everything else. And yeah, no, you'll be able to contact us through there. Facebook dot com forward slash games for podcast and at games for and the last word would have to be uh, no, the four is a number. number.